we're going to do something fun right now. I wanted to um, prove a point um, in case you're wondering what the big deal is with having a few extra themes laying around in your WordPress install. So, you know, as I said in the post that's accompanying this video, a lot of times it's no big deal. I mean, what's the big deal with leaving your front door unlocked or leaving your car unlocked? Most of the time, nothing's ever going to happen. Well, when it's super easy to prevent it by locking it down or eliminating the possibility, why wouldn't you do that? So um, some things are better coded and some themes less so, but really any theme is potentially vulnerable. It's just a matter of if the, um, you know, right hacker d discovers the vulnerability and exploits it before anybody knows what's going on. So this, um, this page that uh, I'm showing you right now, I just pulled this up just for um, to have a resource that I could use because we know these themes are vulnerable. There's probably, and, and the last one here was reported um, in February. So there's probably a lot of other things going on that, that are not reported. But my point is, you know, I wanted a theme that I could, I could look for. I am not a hacker. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I'm just like your average nerdy person. So I don't know how to follow through on this. And this is commonly available information. So before you think I'm a hacker, I mean, like really, no. So um, let's take the first theme in this vulnerable themes list here on WP uh, vulnerability WP scan vulnerability da database. It's a thing called Swape that um, was sold on Theme Forest. Any, I'm not a fan of Theme Forest for a number of different reasons. Their coding is all over the map, depending on who you buy from. It's, I just personally don't care for it. But you know, that said, they're not necessarily any better or worse than anywhere else you might get themes from. Somebody like Studio Press, somebody like um, Automatic, the people that put out WordPress.org themes, they're pretty good. But you know what? Even those, those have had vulnerabilities and patches. Just a matter of how quick, you know, they'll release an update or a patch. So we have this swipe theme. And then here's how the bad guys go and find out whose site is running that theme. Um, and they already know how to exploit it. I don't know how to exploit it. I can just show you how to find it. But here's what I'm, what I'm saying. It's not a big deal to find this stuff. So you just type in in URL and then the path to the, the file that you know is in um, would be in the install if the theme was there. They do the same thing for plugins. So a lot of times, um, you know, I will look at my error logs and see that that these these losers are searching for a file that's in a vulnerable plugin. So same, same deal. But here's how they do it with themes. And so I know that these sites have this theme installed. I don't personally know whether it's one of the ones that, um, like if this has been update, updated, because they did this, these, the people that um, developed Swipe did release a fix for it. But if I was a bad guy, I would know how to look for which version this is. So this is why we just need to clean out our WordPress install, keep one theme in there, like just in case, one theme extra, and it needs to be a solidly coded one. That's why I suggest um, the latest um, default theme for WordPress, which right now is the 2017 theme. They're not doing a 2018 theme this year. I don't think they're doing one at all because they're working on Gutenberg. But just keep that one theme in case something goes crazy with your site. Um, you can always switch over to that theme just to see if that helps. And then you know that it's something related to, to your theme or a conflict between the plugins and themes. So just that one. Everything else, delete. All right. Let me know if you have questions.